Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Promogata Underground Sound Off. Syndicated and powered by KSIR, that is Killshot Internet Radio, located in Detroit, Michigan. You are on the Rush Hour Ride with Promo God, broadcasting live from Columbus, Ohio. And you can hear this show in syndication at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on WBAP, that's Bluntsville Radio in New Jersey. Today we have a very exclusive show. Usually it would have just been a normal show with the interview and the music, but today we have a special show, not only including the interview, but also including a special phone call that's going to be coming in in about the next five or ten minutes. Um, some of y'all saw it on Facebook last week. There was a young gentleman that had tried to slander my name, was on borderline harassment, and it wasn't all of his fault. There were other people involved. So that young gentleman is going to be calling in today, the one that um, that made the slanderous posts on Facebook. And I want all my listeners to listen very closely what this man has to say, because this is a lesson that we all need to learn. And I've learned it many times, but some new artists that are out there, people are going to lure you in and try to make it seem like, you know, people are bad when they actually aren't. Now... I need y'all to understand that there will be no disrespect on this show today. The names of the other people who were involved in this situation will not be named because, well, quite frankly, it's not worth the energy to give them. So we're going to keep it nice. There will be a couple of songs that's going to play. There are like six songs in the playlist today. And yes, the, the show today does have a theme song, a theme to all of the songs that are being played because of this situation and circumstance. Understand that people can be your friends for years. You can be close to them for many, many years. And it will take you years to find out their true colors. So with that being said, you guys are about to hear a countdown so I can get this playlist pinned to the bottom of the live feed on Facebook. So here we go, y'all. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Promo guys, underground sound off only on Kill Shot Radio. All right, y'all, this first song, if you are a loyal listener, you know exactly what this song is. This is the 730 Anthem by Need I Say More. He is in New York City. Y'all, make sure you go check him out. He is on Dat Piff. He's on Facebook. Need I Say More. Stop asking people how they feel, y'all. Stop asking them what's on their mind because this may be the response that you get. To the top of my lungs, I scream and I yell. God, remove me from this torment in hell. You wanna know what's on my mind? Man, I hate all of you bitches, all of you males, friends and family, hell, even myself. You wanna know what's on my mind? Stuffing all of these drugs, all in this pipe, I ain't fearing, I need all of this high. You wanna know what's on my mind? Taking all of your Shout out to M. Dot Woodson, my CEO and owner of Killshot Entertainment, Killshot Records. Killshot Internet all Radio, all click, all clack, bang, bang, bang. Killshot everything. Charisma in the building, I see you. Troy Davis, the Davis Way, your song is coming up next, sweetheart. Darian, I see you, sweetie. Don, I see you. BP Entertainment, LLC in the building. Bill Cosby, I see you. Lisa Johnson, Rico. This won't kill you, but scare the shit out your tailbone. Your baby's dying one by one. You wanna yell? Please make sure y'all sprinkle this video, this live feed audio out to everybody because this is a show that y'all are gonna wanna hear. Shut the fuck up. Sit back and watch what I'm about. Your wifey here, she getting fucked on this couch. No pulling out and bye bye. Time for her throat to smile. It's only you left. Gun to the face before he dropped the nigga two step. His last word. Tell my kids that I love him. We have the young gentleman on the phone right now. As soon as this song is over, we're going to bring him live on air, y'all. Trey Walsh is in the building. I see you, sweetie. Shout out to Crazy L Productions. Lisa Johnson, Philly in the building. I see you, sweetheart. 
friends and family had leaving my cell. You wanna know what's on my mind? Stuffing all of these drugs, all in this pipe. Michael, you don't have to, sweetie, and that's just fine, but don't be disrespectful. Taking all of your lives, all of you die, all of you bitches. Salute to you as well, Lisa. Thank you, sweetie. I highly doubt it, nigga. You say you do, but you don't wanna know about it, nigga. The bloody murderous memories, all the malice, pride of deep to the havoc of demons. That like a challenge, nigga. My heart is pretty. You said you like this song, yeah. There is a theme to this one. 7:30, y'all. I swear to God, your mother almost say the motherfucking slug from the two. Word to the pistol and the fruits of my loom. My motherfucking mind is gone. Level 87 in the building. Shout out to Team Nova. I see y'all. I see y'all. Hey. What type of faggot turned his back to his kids? Both middle fingers to his front. Click the back of my dick. I was ready to put the bullet in the heart of his nugget. Then put the barrel to my melon and bust it. And usually the way I feel is just the topic. Never up for discussion. I tried to tell you, but you didn't want to listen. So fuck it. Hey, shout out to Need I Say More in New York. It's 7.30 Anthem again. Y'all can get that on that hip. Go there right now. Go check out his whole album, y'all. Family had leaving my cell. You want to know what's on my mind? Stuffing all of these drugs, all in this pipe. My spirit, I need all of this high. You want to know what's on my mind? Taking all of your lives, all of you die, all of you bitches, and all of you guys. You want to know what's on my mind? The monster inside of me wants to eat you. Will you and closer to the sea? As I said, 7.30 is crazy. Yeah, it is. My nigga, because I don't need you. And I don't need friends in my circle. I hate, I hate people. people. Need I prefer a mask doing shit that's disastrous. Like separate people always want to ask me what's on your mind. You know, after I kill your ass, people have a lot of things going through their mind, y'all. Right Stop the asking them. Decide and start snatching shit out. Grab your chillers, dispense it, and unravel it. Then right around your neck, I be rapping it till you gagging shit. Squeezing till your body twitching and pissing. And that's a bitch, this nigga just... Yeah, his flow is sick. I love his music. All of the music that he makes, I love it all. Another nigga missing, another gun, I got a trash again. The voices in my head calm down. I can relax again. I now think I sent this exactly one to the station so to, for you to put it in rotation. If not, I'm going to send it to you again, I'm done. Again, shout out to my CEO and owner of Killshot Records. That is M. Woodson, Killshot Entertainment, Killshot Internet Radio, Click Clack Bang Bang, Killshot Everything. Drugs all in this pipe, my spirit. I need all of this high. You wanna know what's on my mind? Taking all of your lives. Big fella Records USA in the building. I see you, BFMG, Maniac the Beast. I see you, Darian. Feeling 7:30, I'm feeling 7:30, I'm feeling 7:30, my nigga, I'm 7:30, I'm feeling 7:30, I'm feeling 7:30. Boss Lady Radio in the building, I see you, sweetie. We have an interview with her tomorrow, y'all. Miss Fabulous. I'm feeling 7:30, I'm feeling 7:30, my nigga, I'm 7:30. To the top of my lungs, I scream and I yell, God, remove me Again, from as soon as this song is over, we're going to bring um, Damon on the phone so we can um, have a conversation with him, y'all. And I need y'all to pay attention. I need you to listen very, very closely. Salute to you as well, M. God. Promo God loves you, sweetie. Hey. All of you die, all of you bitches, and all of you guys. You want to know what's on my mind? It's gonna keep it all bottled up, motherfucker. Hey, but you had to ask what was on my mind, so there he is, y'all. He let you know. Stop asking. All right, we're going to bring Mr. Damon Canterbury on the phone. Again, y'all, I want you to be respectful because this man um, humbled himself to come to Promo God. Uh, again, just to give you a little background, this was an incident that happened last week on Facebook. There were some people that got involved in it that should have really not have. Again, we are not going to name those names because 
they're not important. What we want y'all to do is learn a lesson from this. How easy it is for people to get sucked into a trap and get lured into a trap without knowing the actual facts of what's going on. So understand that me and this gentleman have had a conversation already. We have spoken on the phone at length this weekend, Saturday, as a matter of fact. So I want y'all to be respectful with this gentleman. All right, sir, can you go ahead and tell these people who you are, what it is that you do, and where you come from? Uh, yeah, my name is Dame Canterbury. Um, my, I go by Grimy. Um, I make music, um, and I try to make, you know, positive music, uh, stuff that, uh, you know, more like truth music. And um, uh, I'm from Eugene, Oregon, right next to Portland on the West Coast. Um, that's where I was born and raised, uh -huh. uh, from here to Portland, Salem. <laughs> Uh, never really left this area much. Okay. Now, before you get into telling the story of what happened, I want to um, I want to ask you a few questions because I want the viewers to know that this was not a setup. This is not something that Promo God did. You know, this was something yeah. that actually did happen, and we knew we didn't know each other. Did did we or did we not know each other before the day that this incident took place? No. Okay. Oh no, no, I had no idea who any of. Okay. Any of okay. Huh. And when when we had this conversation, this initial conversation, was it or was it not a misunderstanding of what you read on your part? Yes. I mean, that's yeah, okay. that's something that I told myself down to admit. It okay. was a miscommunication on my part when I read back. And you did apologize to me stringently on um on Saturday, did you not? Yes, because I, mean, I definitely owe you that. I mean, that's okay. something that, uh, you know, that's, you know, that's not even enough. So, okay, I mean? so what I want you to do, because I extended the olive branch so my viewers and my listeners would understand that we are straight. We're cool. We, we hashed this yeah. out. We got, a, we got a complete, clear understanding of what's going on. Now, the other question I want to ask you before you tell what happened, I want to ask you, the stuff that you found out about me from the other people... And the stuff that you found out about me to be true, did I or did I not tell you any of that information? Did any of that information come from me? The stuff that I found out about you, like the people were talking about you, like your haters and stuff? Well, that information and also the information that you did your own research about me to find out. Did I tell you yeah, any of no, that I information? No, you didn't. And I, I mean, I found you all over. I mean, it's easy to find Promo God and Kill Shot Radio and End on everyone. Oh, sorry. I, I mean, I'm okay. just saying y'all's name. Sorry. I just, I just um, wanted my yeah, viewers to, to know. Right. I just want my viewers to know that Promo God had nothing to do with this. Only the inbox message that me and you had together, and that was it. I had nothing to do with anything else that was going on. So my viewers need to understand that because. This is how deep it really goes, y'all. So, Damon, I want you to go ahead and I want you to tell what happened without putting the people's names or their brand names or their company names in it because the people that saw it, they know exactly who we are talking about. Yes, I understand it. I, I get that. Go ahead. So, uh, pretty, pretty much, uh, I mean, I'll just give it to you my, my work. Um, uh, I have come across your show and, you know, it looked, it, it looked really legit to me. So I had emailed you guys, you know, that's how a miscommunication arise on, you know, what type of music, you know, I'm for and against. And, you know, we already know how that went. I'm not sure if you want me to get into that, but it was a miscommunication on my part. And it turned out where, of course, you know, when I disrespected you, you know, you're going to stand up for yourself, you know. And so I got in a situation where, in my mind at the time, getting worked up, you know, with the homeboys I was with, you know, it, it just seemed like um, almost like I felt a little threatened. So I decided to just try to contact someone randomly out of any of the names I could connect with you guys, you know. And I randomly chose the name, and I and to this to this day I just can't even believe how random it was because um, I just I automatically, you know, when I messaged the person, um, you know, what I'm saying because I, I was you know taking this serious. Uh, he automatically called me, and then, you know, from then, like, I just, you know, I, when it comes to, you know, anyone that has any kind of street cred, like, I just, I fall for it sometimes, you know what I mean, and that's just me, because that's where I come from, and that's where all I knew how to do, I just wanted to connect with someone else that was in the street that was connected to you, and in this situation, you know, I, I got worked up by people on my side, um, about, you know, a diss track, and I posted about it, and, you know, I did that at first, uh, but that post didn't come from me, like, I, I've never done that in my life, that was, 
you know, I was I was asked to do that because you know supposedly we were supposed to expose you and all this stuff and you know and I, I mean it was deep for a minute and the stuff I was really believing in everyone I mean anyone involved with listeners right now y'all got the messages you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm saying and uh so once I started getting all these messages from I realized like y'all have more than one hater you know way more than one hater and then when I realized you know some competitors really wanted me to do the diss track after they heard my song Give Me Smoke and I was just like okay I gotta look into people because this sounds like to me like, y'all have the most haters contacting me about this situation, like, right away. And then when I seen how close some of these people were to you, and I realized in my eyes, and, in, and when I had a woman's uh, opinion on the situation, this was more or less, uh, very beyond rap, this was more or less, you know, your obsession and love and, and jealousy and stuff. This was not, you know, and, and it's just a jealousy campaign that I chose to, instead of doing what every other rapper does and just takes the diss track, takes the clout, takes that. I just wanted to, I don't know if this will ruin my name or not, you know, make me look like a bitch, or sorry my language, but, you know, make me look weak, but I'm doing this because this is how I was raised. You know, I made it wrong. You know, this situation got really worked up. And, uh, you know, I just, instead of supporting the fake, I decided to support the real and say, you know, and that's why I contacted you guys. You guys got those messages. This obviously wasn't, you know, some kind of setup to all, you know, it was a setup on me, like I was used. Um, but um, I, I stopped, you know, and I fought, and then that's why I came to humble myself and at least um, give you the respect to clear the air because you deserve that. You know, after I found out, you know, uh, as a lot of stuff you've been through, and then just me and yours conversation after we finally talked, um, I just couldn't even believe that I almost got sucked in to writing a diss track um, on someone that helps so many underground rappers. Like, that's what got me. And so that's why I stopped and said, you know what? I'm good with that, man. My music is more about trying to get help addicts and people learn truth. Anyway, why would I want to just do that and, and be a part of that? And then when you look at the other people involved, you know, <laughs> I mean, I'm against that type of music anyway, so I'm, I don't even know why I fell for it in the first place. So it really is just a situation where me being literally like a month into the game because I've rapped and written in the penitentiary my whole life. Mm -hmm. But now I'm out and I'm ready to, you know, that's why I'm recording. So, you know, I just sell for it right away because I always fall for street shit shit. That's just me. And, and I just truly want to thank you for standing up and being a man and humbling yourself and actually seeing the truth behind all the lies and the rumors and the innuendo. That's what I, um, that's what I was concerned about, was, you know, here's another person that is going off lies of what other people are saying instead of actually doing the research on who we are and what it is that we do. That is just, and, and you know, I really, really, uh, I mean, I really regret it, obviously, you know, um, but, uh, you know, it happened and there's nothing I could change about it except for the fact that I want all listeners to know that this, you know, I really did overreact on this. Um, I mean, that's something, you know, I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? We make, sometimes we do that, you know? So mm. uh, I just got sucked into your haters and I really, they pumped me up for a minute. I mean, you know, you saw what was up, you know? For they, days. They like, y'all, this, this went on for like four days. Like every yeah. day I was waking up to something new, like what is really going on? And then... I guess it was Friday night because I was already asleep in bed and um, apparently you had messaged me from an another account that you had yep. and you also yep. um, you also took it upon yourself to contact my CEO M. Woodson which he is listening yep. right now on the um, Facebook live as well so he's out there he's listening too and I'm going to say you know I have never never had somebody come to me and apologize just for what they have done, their part, the part that they played in the situation. Now, again, I will say your name a hundred thousand times, Damon Canterbury. Damon, am I saying it right? Is it Damon? Damon Canterbury. You're actually the only person that's ever said my name right. Everyone calls me Diamond. That's why I'm on YouTube calling <laughs> me Diamond. I didn't know what to do because everyone keeps calling me Diamond, so I just right. put me Diamond on YouTube. But really, my name's Damien Canterbury. Yeah, you're the only person that's ever got that right. That's oh, weird. so that's awesome. See, you probably got it for <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, hey, man, I'm really, you know, when you're, I will say, you know, um, I'm not going to say his name, obviously, because I won't say names, but your CEO is very respectful. And honestly, when I looked into him, that's what made me really double thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, uh, that's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just am not. Uh, there's no point in making uh, enemies with people that wouldn't be good enemies for no reason. You know? Exactly. And let me just express so. to you live on air so the people who are listening know 
and this is going to play again in um, New Jersey as well. So my people in New Jersey and everywhere around the world are going to hear this twice today. Okay. And then there will also be a YouTube okay. link available as well because my shows are syndicated. So, you know, we're going to get it out there. But I just want people to know that, Damon, if you want to do business yes. with Killshot, if you want to send your music to Promo God for me to play, if you want any world premieres done, just make sure that you label the email correctly. You already know the email, obviously. Yes. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so, I we know that email. Right. Man. He I knows know, the yeah. email. So yeah. just make sure that you send your music in, and I will have no problem playing any of your music because... I give you absolutely uh, massive amounts of respect today, D as of, uh, you know, and Saturday as well when I had a personal yeah. conversation with you. But for you to come live on air to, um, to humble yourself in front of, well, right now, since it's shared to my fan page, there's 161,000 people at least listening right now. So you've humbled yourself yeah, and, and you have made yourself look like a much better person than anybody could ever have. So I truly appreciate you from everybody that is involved and is a member or a family member of Killshot Entertainment, Killshot Internet Radio, Killshot Records. We truly appreciate your humbleness, your truthfulness, and for you being an, you know, an outstanding young man and trying to do the best that you can do to make a wrong right. Well, I really appreciate that you guys even gave me the opportunity to make it right. And, uh, you know, I, regardless of how many people are listening, like, this is something that I wish that, like, every every rapper coming in would think about. Because, like, when I look around, I always see my homeboys and everyone else is just squad chasing. So I really feel like instead of doing that, just just focus on the truth and focus on the real. Stop stop, stop the faith stuff, you know, stop the prop stuff. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, I would love for you guys to play my stuff. And it would make no sense once you hear my music for me to have follow through with this situation because... My music is positive. You right. know what I mean? So, and, you know, um, just, just so I, you know, I, both of the owners of Killshot are now listening at the moment. 781, which is Rod Nickelberry on Facebook, and M. Dot Woodson, they are both owners of Killshot. So they are hearing you. And again, from all of us at Killshot, we truly appreciate you um, doing this because, you know, I'm not so concerned about my name, but my team's name, that's... um. Yeah, I don't play about my team's name. Yeah, I totally understand that. <laughs> I, I was raised like this. I was raised. I was raised by my my aunt, and so I mean, this is how I was raised, man. Like my family would have not really, you know, respected me for it. You know, especially if I would have found out your life story afterwards, I would have never forgiven myself. Like you've been through hell, and there's no way that I would have forgiven myself for that. And then the owner here at the CEO, I mean, everyone's legit. There's no reason to follow through with something like that with someone who just is to me is just in love. You know, well, so that's just me. I have a special announcement for you coming straight from the owner of Killshot M. Dot himself. He says, and on the fact that you came on and set the record straight, you will be added to our permanent rotation on KSIR. So I want you to make sure that you send me a um, the best song that you have so we can put you in rotation. If you send it to me today, I will send it to him this evening and it will be in permanent rotation. Okay, well, I, I mean, I, that's shock. I, I mean, I'm really nervous, obviously, and I will send you guys a uh, mumble rap given smoke. That's probably the one, I guess. Yeah, well, I don't have that one anymore, so you're going to have to resend it to me. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I bet you you don't have any of those. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I definitely made you mad, and I don't want to see you mad again, so we're probably going to just remain calm together. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> okay. absolutely, because we both know where Thank we're you. coming from, so, so yeah. So, again, everybody, this has been squashed. This has been taken care of. He came to me. He humbled himself. He apologized. So I want y'all to go network with this gentleman, get his music out there, you know, maybe get him featured on one of y'all's songs, get him on stage somewhere. I mean, he's all the way in Oregon, y'all. But I'm sure that there are some people from Oregon that are listening right now that can get this man on stage and get his music in, in rotation all over, all over the world, y'all. So, um... Again, you know, I have to, I do have to get back to the show, but I do thank you for calling in and I want you to send me an inbox message when your Facebook is off of the, um, off of the block, because again, y'all, like three more hours. right. His Facebook did get blocked because of this situation and 
you know, yeah, I would say that I'm sorry for book. that, but I'm not sorry because <laughs> I, I, that was, it kind of pissed me off. Yes, I did report the post. I admit I it. I ain't got a problem admitting it. I reported it and I'm just quite sure that, and this is what another thing that I want to say for anybody that messaged this man. I didn't ask anybody to message him ever. I didn't ask y'all to come and send him messages, but anybody that did send a positive message about Promo God, I truly appreciate you. I truly appreciate all of that support that I get because, you know, it helps with situations like this. It helps to get the truth to come to light. And we're just going to leave it at that. The other people are not important, but what is important is Damon Canterbury on Facebook. Make sure you go check him out, y'all. And it is a different spelling. It's um, D. Is it D A I M O N D? Yes, it is. Yep. Okay, so there you go. You go find him. He'll be off his Facebook block in about three hours. I'm sure that he's going to send me a Facebook uh, a friend request. And as soon as he does, then y'all can um, go network, network, network. Get the music together, y'all. That's what it's all about. It really is all about the music. Well, thank you, Stephanie. I'll let you get back to your show and stuff. I know you guys are busy, man. I know that. Thank you, sweetie. You have a beautiful rest of your day and have fun with your family today. I uh, will. You too, too. All right, guys. All right, sweetie. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. And that's just how it goes. That is how easy it is to settle a disagreement. It, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. So we are going to get back into the music as soon as I get the Bluetooth back up because I did turn it off. Ready to pair. Paired. So we're going to get the music started as soon as I get it back up here. I apologize, y'all. But anyway, so now you have heard from the gentleman's mouth himself. This was not some setup. Promo God didn't do it. And we're going to let it go. And we're going to focus on the positive music. So here we go, y'all. This is the end of the 7.30 anthem. This next song coming on is Troy Davis, The Davis Way, featuring Pierre Anthony. This is called Fake Love. Again, there is a theme song to the show today. There are only six songs on here. We do have an interview coming up with Ace Cuddy in about 10 minutes, y'all. Yeah. It's another one from your boy. Let go. Yeah. Let go. Yeah. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. JP yeah. in the building. I yeah. see everybody. Thank you yeah. for all the positive comments. Absolutely. I don't got time for the bass shit. It seems a lot of real men do real shit. That's right, y'all. Shout out to Damon Canterbury. I truly appreciate you again. Thank you. If I kept getting high, I would stay trapped in the basement. These cats never cease to amaze me. Damn, yet you still up on the pavement. Stay consistent because I know in my mind I'm right at the door. Cherokee Moon, I see you. You are so welcome, sweetheart. That is Damon's aunt. So make sure you go network with her as well, y'all. I'll be crazy. One thing that I won't be is lazy. Vicky Starks in the building, y'all. Make sure you like, share, comment, and invite. Let people know that the music is playing right now, y'all. for anybody y'all if I have ever told you I love you I still do if even if you don't like me I still love you from way to fuck over there hey shout out to Troy Davis the Davis Sway and Pierre Anthony eventually I'm gonna get paper and colors gonna show me the truth yeah these niggas gonna show me the truth yeah I don't got room for the fake love I'm gonna keep moving for someone that's right Lisa Flay hey hey I am the truth and I'm paper Eventually I'ma get paper And colors gon' show me the truth Yeah, these niggas gon' show me the truth Yeah, yeah And y'all, this interview that's coming up We did record it live on Thursday morning In the midst of all of this situation that was going on So you're gonna hear about that also in the interview But this interview was so fun, y'all Promo God was laughing almost the whole time You're gonna wanna hear it Ace Cuddy, Dale's Everett Jr. on Facebook I'ma keep on doing me while I'm here I'ma beat the I ain't going nowhere. This is my favorite song too. I have two favorites of um, Troy Davis, The Davis Way. I have Apollo and Fake Love. Hey, shout out to his album Eclipse, available on all digital platforms, y'all. The Davis Way. If you don't fuck with me, I'm not. 
Positive Energy Monday, y'all. Positive Energy Monday. There's Pierre Anthony, y'all. He is not only a fabulous artist, but he is also a super producer as well in Detroit, along with Davis the Davis Way, Troy Davis right there. He's on Facebook, y'all. Make sure you go check him out because he's a super producer as well. So go network, y'all. All right, y'all, this next song coming on is a Kenya Lay Spain, and this is called Disloyal. Again, there is a theme to every song that is played here today. What up, though, Pierre? I see you. It's PA all day. Why? Why do you keep on just playing these games? Again, y'all, this is a Kenya Lay Spade, the Black Knight, Detroit, Michigan stand up. Contrary to popular belief, why do Detroit does love promo so God. Being a lame, lame, Darius Denson in the building. Why? Shout out to King Darius. I see you, sweetheart. Hey. King Darius, I see you, sweetheart. Chester PA too, we love you more. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. That's right, Brenda. That's why I played this song today. Y'all can also find this song on the Best of Promo God Underground Sound Off 2019. It is on Dat Piff. The links are on my personal profile on Facebook. Make sure you go check it out, y'all. I mean, really, like, why are you wasting my time? telling y'all to um, sprinkle this out to the people on Facebook and I have yet to do that. I do apologize y'all. I was trying to get other stuff set up over here. But if y'all could just, I don't want to say the S-H-A-R-E because I found out that when you say that when you're live on Facebook, it makes the Facebook gremlins come out and it makes them take away your viewers. So now instead of saying the S-H-A-R-E, we're going to say sprinkle. So sprinkle this audio around Facebook, y'all. Shout out to the women who love black men and everybody who is tuned in from that page. Sometimes people try to destroy you precisely because they recognize your power, not because they don't see it, but because they see it and they don't want it to exist. This is my family, y'all. This is the one and only Rocky Gantz, Christopher Coleman on Facebook. Click, clack, bang, bang, kill shot, everything. This is called Talk That Shit. Put that in your kitty and stop playing with me. 
SNF, baby, y'all I know it scares a fiends. William Colbert in the building, I see you, sweetie. Hey, hey. Now if I front you won't get same in 90-10%. Ryan Diggs, Orlando, Florida, I see you, sweetie. So Lana, if he moves wrong, split that nigga shit. We'll take his back and bust it down and split that nigga shit. Being broke or crime, baby, well, I'm innocent. I like dollar after dollar, I ain't innocent. I hit that road one time and I've been innocent. Bitch, I'm saucing. I live that rat ghoul like the young guy is shocking. I live that Zeus life and I'm popping. I am the new Sprite. Play it to the lessons, these bitches don't move right. Ooh, shit. Goddamn bitch, you know I love it when you do that two hand twist. It's like a change when we fuck. Is it magic? I'm not the same when I fuck. I'm a catfish. I love my plump niggas. Buy the builder. I drill a nigga. Brenda said, What is done in the dark will always nigga. come to light. No one is exempt. That's right. Hey, hey, hey. Let them say the wrong thing. We be murdering them. They want to stand in the street when we don't swerve around them. We got shooters on demand. We ain't worried about them. Lisa said facts, absolutely, sweetie. But we got it taken care of. We are on a positive vibe today. Promo God is happy. Why? Because I'm choosing happiness. And we talking that shit, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. You know what love it when you do that two hand twist? And we don't give a fuck about it. No, we don't give a fuck about it. No, we don't give a fuck about it. JP, I see you, sweetheart. Hey. All right, y'all. We have got Ace Cuddy's interview coming up next again. His name on Facebook is Dales Everett Bates Jr. Make sure you go check him out. This was a funny and wonderful interview, so make sure you stay tuned in. Here we go, y'all. Again, shout out to Ace Cuddy. Shout out to Rocky Gantz. That is my team, y'all. Click, clack, bang, bang, kill shot, everything. You are listening to Promo God Underground Sound Off. We are on a live interview with Ace Cuddy. He is in Detroit, Michigan. His name on Facebook, you can find him at Dales Everett Bates Jr. But again, it's Ace Cuddy, y'all. All All right, sweetie, I want you to tell these people who you are, what it is that you do, and where you come from. What's up, what's up, y'all? This is Ace. From Detroit, Michigan. Um, I'm doing. You know, I do music. Got a single out called Always. Um, I come from. Of course, I come from the east side of Detroit, Michigan. Born and raised. <sighs> yeah. So that that's what it is, baby. You know. Shout out to Promo God for spending always. Every time, every time I sent it to her, she always spent it. That's real love because she didn't have to do what she did, but. Thanks so much, Promo God. Oh, you are so welcome, sweetie. So you said you live on the east side. Do you live like in the red zone east side area? No, no. I'm actually like, I'm from Detroit, but like I stay, you know, I stay like on the outskirts of Detroit pretty much. So, you know, but I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, though. Okay. Hey, hey. So I want you to tell the people what is a little bit about uh, a little bit about your musical background. And when I say that, um, what I mean is, like, did you grow up in a house full of music when you were growing up? Is this something new that you've just started to want to do to be in the music industry? How did this all begin for you? I mean, well, as far as from the music aspect, like, my family wasn't really like you know, music oriented, like, you know, we, we was listening to music, like, you know, my mom, she, like, put me up on, like, Anita Baker, Maze and Frankie TJ Beverly, Tupac Shakur, um, pretty much a lot of, you know, a lot of R&B and, you know, and rap, so pretty much, I always had the talent from when I was little to rap, I just didn't take it serious about a good you know, three, four years ago, that's when I really took this this rap and shit serious. Like, man, you know, I want to do music now because, you know, I didn't want to do the music because everybody else was doing it. I felt like that I had the talent and I'm like, all right, I need to get my voice heard. And plus, I'm telling the story of, you know, just an average nigga from the east side, pretty much, that's been through some shit, pretty much, so. Right, the struggle never stops, it feels like. <laughs> yeah. 
like, damn, can I get a break today? Get like, you know, like McDonald's, right. can we, you know, whatever. But yeah. So can you tell us where all you have performed at and if you have performed out of state or out of country? Um, right now I haven't did any performances, not just yet, but that's something that's into play. So, you know, right now as far as performances, I haven't did performances just yet. So, you know, we, we gonna get that up and rolling real soon with the performances. Absolutely, yeah. I was about to say, because, um, yeah, I know a lot of people, we can get you in some kind of performance somewhere. Somewhere. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. <laughs> get you up on the stage. Get you up there. So, yeah, so I can rock it out one time. <laughs> one time, two times, 150,000 yeah, times if you need to. <laughs> so, in what way has your, okay, because you said that you've only been doing it about three or four years, you know, strong yeah, in the yeah. booth. So, in what ways has your newest music changed since your first music, since the first time you were in the booth? Well, I say now, like, I have a better vocabulary than I did when I first started, because when I first started rapping, or whatever, like, I felt like, because when my, I, I had a first song out, I did a, a Zero to a Hundred remix, and that was like, that was like three years, about three, four years ago, that was my very, very first solo song that I did, so I felt as though as that, like, hey, baby, you know, that's by me, my, that being my first solo song, I didn't really go as hard as I wanted to, but like, now it's like now my music is like I'm more lyrical you know I got stories to tell I'm you know just telling telling about me where I come from the stuff yeah, that you know the I stuff see, that I've sweetheart. seen coming up on the east side so yeah like my music changed a lot especially my vocabulary because at first it was just like I wasn't really saying a lot you know so people was like you gotta tell a story you know you gotta do this, you got to do that. So, you know, I actually started listening to people and getting their feedback. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to insert that into my music. And, you know, from there on, that's when I started coming up with, you know, a lot of different, a lot of different songs and concepts and all of that. So, awesome. Albert Washington, I see you. What inspires you to write a song? And now this is a two part question. What inspires you to write the song initially? And then do you need to have a beat to be inspired to write the song? Or can you just write poetry and put it to any beat? Well, pretty much what inspires me to write a song, just pretty much like just the whole, you know, just the whole like being in the being in the studio pretty much that inspires you to really write a song because you like you you see like damn like you just being in the studio you seeing the mic you seeing the, the keyboards the computers you know you hearing beats so it's like you know it gets you amped up and be like man I can go in the booth and you know if he can do this I can do this you know right. so, you know that's what it was you know as far as inspiration but um yeah, and what was the other question? Um, can you just write your poetry? Because I, I feel like music is poetry. It's poetry to me. So, like, can you write your poetry and then put it to a beat, or do you have to have the beat to write to? Um, it don't necessarily have to be a beat. Like, I, like I'm the type of rapper, like, I sit up here and think of, think of shit in my head every day. Like, you know, I, I have beats playing in my head. I have verses, lyrics, all, all types of stuff in my head. So I walk around all day saying stuff. So it's like, it, you know, it's like, you know, I, I write it down, you know, but then again, it's like, you know, like if I'm really focused on it and I'm really focused on this song and it really means something to me, then I'm like, yeah, I'm on it, but yeah. Hey, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, it's all about pretty much how I feel, you know, how I feel that day pretty much, you know. If I'm in a, a, a fucked up mood, I'll write a song. If I'm in a happy mood, I'll write a song. Or hell, if I just get bored, I'm like, man, I'm bored. I'm just about to write music right now because I'm bored. So. That's right. That's right. So when you were growing up, when you were listening to music growing up, what styles helped influence your style of flow? Um, I grew up listening to a lot of Detroit artists, you know, so like, 
I was listening to the Blade Icewood. Shout out to Blade, rest in peace, Blade Icewood, the Great Lakes ruler. Um, I of course I was listening to uh, KDZ. I was listening to the Street Lords, Dusty McFly. I was listening to Doughboys, Cash Out, Cash Kid. I was listening to a lot of Detroit people that was influencing me to do a lot with this mm-hmm. music and plus I was hanging around a couple Detroit rappers shout out to Danny Mills from the east side shout out to him I hung around him and he pretty much you know he pretty much you know pretty much told me like man you know just get that music out here bro you know cause my boy Danny been doing this shit for years so you know just being around him see how he work and see his work ethic in the studio really made me want to you know get out here and start doing music so Right. And, you know, I'm really glad that you said what you said about who you used to listen to growing up, because the majority of the people, I'm not going to say everybody, but the majority of the people that I interview, when I ask them that question, they'll, you know, start out with uh, Tupac, Biggie, you know, the mainstream artists that we all grew up to or what have you. Yeah. You started out saying independent underground artists right in your area. That's yeah. what you grew up listening yeah. to, and that because is important. I like, and I feel like the Detroit scene doesn't get a lot of exposure how we do because, you know, it's a lot of controversy within the Detroit scene and everything, especially with the rappers and everything like that. So it's just like I needed to shed a light on the Detroit scene because we're like a lot of the Detroit artists are slept on. It's like a few Detroit artists that really got signed to like a major label. But like it's 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 much talent out here in Detroit. Like it's so many people out here rapping male and female. And it's like, you know, it's so hard for us to get signed or us to, you know, or people to listen to our music because it's so many people out here rapping male and female in the Detroit scene that it's hard to listen to everybody. So it's like, you know, you got to branch your style off and really be like, damn, you know, what's going to make you stand out from everybody else to make everybody else start listening to you over Sada Baby, Cash Kid, off, you know, over all of them. So, you know, right. with, with Detroit, with the, with the Detroit rap scene, it's like, you know, it's it's just so much, so much music coming from different artists. You know, some of them are talented and some are like, you know, nah, you don't really need to be rapping. But at the end of the day, it's all about, you know, just trying to pretty much, just trying to pretty much get, be be different with this music shit as far as the Detroit scene. Because I'm the type to where, like, I want, I'm not saying I want to be the number one guy in the city as far as music. But I just want to be, you know, I want to be in the top five, like, you know, how, you know, top five. Uh, favorite rappers, that's how I want to be listed in somebody's top five. Like, you know, they can they can name the Tupac. But my, I'm not trying to be up there with Tupac and Biggie, but, you know, as far as they name the people from Detroit, I want to be in that top five. So. I think a lot of what would help Detroit not just each individual artist, but if all the artists would stop being so unsupportive of each other, if they were to become more united together instead of throwing daggers, you know, giving you a smile to your face and throwing daggers in your back at the same time. You feel me? I feel like that's, you know, and I don't just single out Detroit, but I see it most, you know, most of the time I see it when I'm there because I deal with a lot of Detroit. But I, my personal opinion, that's for everywhere around the world. But because, and I do reference Detroit because I'm there a lot, because that's what I personally see. I see people, you know, being hateful and spiteful, you know, like, just for an example, like if I'm out at a, a, a club, at a venue, you know, just listening to artists or what have you, an artist can be up there, you know, and people are out and, you know, they're, um, they're supporting them, they're raising their hands, they're getting into the music. And then once that person gets off stage, another person gets up there. Well, the same person that was just in the crowd cheering for you is now dissing you you know, in private over in the fucking corner. Like, really? Yeah, that, that's crazy. See, with this Detroit rap scene, it's like, we need to come together like how how, the, how these Atlanta artists can come together, how these Chicago artists can come together, how these, you know, how, you know, pretty much just how a lot of these industry, these industry people that's doing a lot, 
for their city and stuff. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's a lot of artists in one city and they can come together and get on a song without beef or anything going on. Like, that's how Detroit need to be. It's just so much hate and everybody want to be the man and everybody want to be number one in the city as far as music. Like, everybody need to get up out that aspect because it's like, Everybody wants their music heard. Everybody wants to be number one as far as, you know, in the Detroit scene. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, everybody can't be number one. You know, you have to take what position you can get, pretty much. Exactly. Oh my God, I'm so glad you said that. (laughs) You know, I'm fine with being number two and number three. I don't care. (gasps) Hell, I can be number 10 for all I care. I don't care. As long as I'm getting my music heard and these people is listening to it not just in Detroit, but Chicago, Cali, Florida, all them other cities or whatever. As long as my music getting heard, I don't care about being number one. Until right. it's my time to be number one, then that's when I can be like, okay, well, I'm number one now. You know, once I once I get to that status, then that's how I can feel. But, but, but right now, like, I don't even care about the whole ranking part. Like, oh, I'm trying to be number one in the city. I want, I want to be the man. I don't want to be the man. I let, I let everybody else have that. You know, but when Ace Cuddy come on the scene, you already know I'm wreaking havoc on anybody's track, so <laughs> let it be known. You said, I just want my music to be heard. I don't give a I shit. I could be number be 2,072 yeah. million. I just want you to hear my music. And that's what I love to hear from an artist. I am so sick of hearing all this legend in my own mind mentality. I'm so tired of it. Yeah, like, just I'm, not, go- yeah, like I, I'm not I'm not really too big on trying to be number one. Like I don't really give a fuck about that shit. Like, that's how everybody else mindset with this rap shit is. They want to be number one. They want to be the top nigga the top female all types of shit like right. I don't really care about that as long as I got a name out here people that seen, heard my music seen my video and everything like that like that's all I really care about at the end of the day that's all I care about I could care less about being that number one nigga exactly and I'm, I'm just glad that you said that because you know people don't realize you know, like you said, everybody wants to be number one. Everybody wants to be the best, but people don't really realize how many people it takes to get that one person to be number one. It's not just one person. It's a whole team of people. Sometimes you have to play the part that you have to play to be able to push that one person to the top. And once that person gets to the top, they reach their hand back down and they lift another person back up. You feel me? That's how they supposed to do it, but 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 they don't do the shit like that. It's you know, it's especially, frustrating, especially in Detroit. It's, Come on, guy, you've been in Detroit. You seen how you 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 know you. I'm quite sure you don't heard the Detroit music scene a lot, and it's like you know it's you know it's so much talent. Even even with the you know with the sound off, you know you play everybody music and shit. Like I hear so so much talented people from all over the world, not just not just Detroit. Exactly. I hear people from Ohio, all kinds of shit. And I'm like, you know, some of the music be, you know, good, and then some be like, why the fuck did you even record that shit? But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just like, you know, Detroit, I love my city, don't get me wrong, I love it with a passion, but it's just, you know, as far as the music scene, like, we gotta get it together. Like, we gotta, we gotta be out here, we gotta make sure we got to make sure we, you know, put Detroit on the map. We just don't want to be labeled as one of them cities where, oh, man, we can't mess with Detroit because they out here they out here killing everybody that they see. Like, exactly. Uh, Detroit has that. enough negative innuendo already over it. Why not try to make it positive? Why not try to do something positive, whether it's being united and, you know, coming to a united front? That is a positive vibe. Right, way too much negativity going on in the city of Detroit. Not just Detroit, but everywhere. Exactly, so it's everywhere. Because you trust know, me like, when I tell you, people hate me from all over. It doesn't, you know, like the hatred comes in from and, everywhere. And I, I don't even see why. I don't even see how could anybody hate you because you, you're, you're such a nice person. Like, you know, <laughs> every time I hear the show, you got a smile on your face, like. It's crazy, so I'm like, you got good energy, so I don't see how people could just hate a person with good energy, like, you know, because my energy is good. At times, I can't be 
you know, I can't snap off when people get me to that point. But, you know, I got, you know, I got good energy a lot too, so, you know. Right. But, you you, well, know, I just, you know, I that, talk it up to, hater. to just um, jealousy and delusional thoughts. Because, right. you know... It, and I, I, I'm going to tell you, that I don't do business with people that I know do bad business. I just don't. Right. And people don't, they feel some type of way about that. Like, you should be doing business with this person. No, because I've personally experienced the bad business that I've had to deal with that person. And I love them, but they're just not welcome in my space. I will love you from way right. to fuck over there. Okay, I have no hatred in my heart whatsoever, but people come at me. I mean, like I said, I've been dealing with this shit, you know, shit going on for the past 48 hours. It's just, you know, it's crazy. Like, I just, um, I just want everybody to choose happiness. Like, you know, it is a choice that you have to make every day. And that in itself creates positive energy. And I just wish people would get it. I just wish they would get it. But anyway, We said had a whole conversation and didn't even go in, you know, didn't even finish the questions, but whatever. (laughs) That's what a good interview is about. But I do have a few more questions to ask. So because we already answered one of the questions that I had, it was what are your current uh, what are your what are your current thoughts on the state of underground music in your in your city? And we just had a long discussion about that. So we know. Yeah. We we know. So you answered my questions before I even asked them. You got ESP <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell me about how many songs do you have in your catalog right now? Like how many songs have you actually created, whether we have heard them or not? They're songs that you have created in your own catalog. How many do you have? Uh, are you talking about like as far as like solo songs or like features? Um, either. If your voice is in okay, it, that's well, considered far, your song, whether you're a feature or not. Okay, as far as solo songs, I have at least about close to like six or seven solo songs. Probably least to that. But as far as features, I did a bunch of fucking features. So it's like you know, I got. I got a, you know, I got a handful of, a handful of songs out here. Okay. You know, so, you know, as far as features wise, like I've done a bunch of features for, for niggas that really fuck with me, so. Okay. And shout out, shout out to my nigga Bo getting it too, man. Shout oh, out to Crown shout Holder, out to I love him. He's so yeah, awesome. Crown Holder, shout out to Crown Holders, man. Them been my niggas since day one. We was little niggas in elementary doing this shit, you oh, know. Oh, that's so awesome. I didn't even know was, that. We didn't even think that we was going to grow up to be rappers, but... <laughs> Man, like, you know, we, we, me, me, Bo, and Slicks, like, we all grew up, we all went to the same school, we all had the same class, so, you know, now that we older, you know, we grown now, like, you know, I want to shout out Bo getting it, but throwing me on that strike, man, strike Mm -hmm. is on the way, too, the strike video is on the way, if y'all ain't heard strike, you know, it's on all, it's on all digital platforms, type in Bo getting it, type in, you know, strike, and you know you can hear it that is so awesome because i didn't even know that you knew who bo getting it was or crown holder yeah, i had bo, no clue until man. like the bo other day but he's yeah, been sending his man. music to me for like two years now ever since i started the promo got underground yeah. sound off yeah, yeah that's my man bo, bo is my man like ever since like we was at, we've been rocking since elementary school so you know how long that right. is right that is so, so awesome oh yeah we've been rocking since elementary so shout out to them guys man if it wasn't for them man and you know for us supporting each other bro i wouldn't even know what what niggas to do for real for real i support bo both support me so you know that's how it is shout out to them guys man for real for real absolutely so sweetie right now what i want you to do is if you could have your fans and before i even say this question i like to remind artists that you know anybody that you meet whether on social media or whether in person wherever you meet somebody at regardless of what age they are they can be 10 15 20 30 70 fucking five they are a potential fan you know so what i want you to do is if you could have your fans and potential fans remember one thing about you from this interview what is the one thing that you always want them to remember about ace cuddy 
One thing I want them to remember about Ace Cuddy is that I I got, I got a great attitude and I also and I also put out great music. Cause that is, you know, great music is something that I've been doing for a minute. You know, not you know when I first started music or whatever, I wasn't really proud of the product I was putting out. But now I'm proud of it. So you know, it's like it's it, it's music. That's that I love this shit. Amy. With a passion, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad to hear you say that because you know anything that you do in this life, you need to love doing it. If you don't yeah, love I doing love it, it, it's not gonna make you happy. So whatever uh -huh. you love doing, that is what's gonna make you happy. And right, I'm right. all about choosing happiness, y'all. All about choosing happiness. <laughs> That's, That's how you gotta be. That's how you gotta be. <laughs> so what I want you to do right now is I want you to give your social media and your booking information because I want there to be no excuses why people cannot find you, network with you, get you on the stage, get you booked. So I need you to give all of your social media information, um, booking information, if you have a manager where people can contact you, all of that. I need you to do it right now. Alrighty, alrighty, alright, um, you can find me on Facebook, I have two Facebook pages, one is Ace Cuddy, A-C-E-C-U-T-T-Y, and the other one is Dills Ever Bates Jr., but it's an S on Dills, and my Instagram is Cashhar underscore Rich Team, and my Snapchat is also Cashhar Rich Team. And of course, YouTube, you can find my music on YouTube. Type in Ace Cuddy, you can find whatever you want to find on there as far as, you know, as far as my music, SoundCloud, you can, you know, type in Cash Heart Rich Team on SoundCloud, find a lot more of my music that I haven't really, you know, really did videos to or whatever, but a lot of my music is on there. Um, as far as booking information, you can go to bookacecuddy at gmail.com. That's how you can get in contact with me. You get in contact with me through Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, anything in social media. I probably, I probably got a page on. So get in contact with me or whatever. So we on and popping. Hey, hey. All right, now, sweetie, what I want you to do is give shout-outs to anybody that you feel like deserves a shout-out today. All righty, all righty. First and foremost, I want to give a shout-out to God because without him, none of this would be possible. And I also want to shout-out my guy, TK. TK was the first guy to ever, ever give me a platform to do this music. He the first one to ever give me a shot. When I first started the music, he was the only one that really wanted to work with me, and I shout out TK for that shit. I want to shout out TK. I want to shout out the whole Cash Heart Rich team, the whole East Side of Detroit, all my brothers, everybody that rock with me, everybody that fuck with my music, everybody. Like, shout out to y'all, man, because without y'all, I wouldn't even be Ace Cuddy. I wouldn't even be talking to promo guy right now. It works for y'all, baby. So, hey, shit. <laughs> Look, hey, look, 100 to everybody who rocking with the whole Cash Heart movement. There's more music on the way, more videos on the way. Trust and believe. It's only the first interview, and trust it won't be the last. I'll be talking to promo guys soon, and trust me. <laughs> so I'll is this your first official again, interview? You know, so don't worry about it. Is this your first official interview, the very first one that you've this ever done? This is my first official interview. I've been doing music for over four years. This is my first Oh, shit. I feel so, so lucky. Why, I feel so that's honored. Why this interview, that's why this interview means so much to me because it's like, you know, this is my very, very first live interview that people can actually, you know, hear Ace Cuddy and hear where I'm coming from and, you know, know about my music. So, yeah, this is my first, first first interview. Oh, so wow. I'm, really I'm proud so of honored. Right Thank here. you so much for allowing me to be the person to do that. I, you know, that, that means a lot course. to me. Of course. 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 Of course
Oh, oh this, this the first time in the damn show won't be the last. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it won't be the you last. know anybody that's listening right now that um that is on here that just likes eye candy all you need to do is go to his profile every day like every morning or evening and he posts some pretty um pretty nice uh selfies in the mirror i'm just saying y'all go check out ace teddy because <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey, this, this is what i want to say Let's it's a little up. breathtaking oh, when i look at those I'm pictures i'm like oh wow okay I'm like, look y'all <laughs> look y'all i'm a rapper I'm a rapper, but you know, like I, I try, you know, like you know how how LL Cool J he a rapper, but he was a sex symbol at the same time. Like I'm trying to be that, but you know LL Cool J, you know LL Cool J he bigger, he be in the gym. I'm a skinny nigga, so y'all gotta work with me, you know. You know. <laughs> I'm a skinny nigga, but don't get it wrong, you know. Like I, I you know, I got the pictures, you know, but no, don't, don't get me wrong, like you know. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not playing, y'all. If you are a woman and you want to see some eye candy in the morning, just go to his profile every morning. You're going to see it every every morning right. or evening when he gets off of work. It doesn't matter, y'all. It, he just, who we? But anyway, like I said, yeah, it's breathtaking. Y'all have my page following. You don't know what the hell you might see. You might see a funny ass that is. You might see that shit. You might see me with no shirt on. Might see me in the towel. Hell. You yeah, the towel pictures. The towel pictures. Pictures you know, are very it interesting. Gonna, it ain't gonna be too exclusive to this Facebook. I don't, you know, it ain't gonna be too exclusive. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it PG thirteen. I ain't gonna get rated on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, PG-13 you are too funny. I just absolutely love it watching you on your Facebook lives. I love coming to your profile because you be you be letting people have it sometimes, but in a good way, like in a fun way. So. Yeah, I enjoy yeah, your I got, profile got, on Facebook. A, it makes me laugh. I got a good sense of humor for these people, man. These people can't take can't take <laughs> sense of humor nowadays. So it's like you know, <laughs> you know how that Ooh. goes. Like I got a sense of humor. And I came from you know I came from that background. And, you know I I've been a funny guy all my life. So it's right. like you know then I'm I'm doing music. So you never know what. What's the next song I might come out with? I might come out with a funny ass song next. So, so you know, it ain't no telling what the hell I might do. So, I feel you. Yeah, but as far as social media, man, as far as y'all follow me on social media, just like promo guy said, man, y'all don't know what the hell y'all might be dealing with Ace Cuddy Page, man. So I don't even know. Y'all might see some sad shit. Y'all might be happy shit. Hell, y'all might have shit that, 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 that get you a little wetty in your leg for the female, you know, so, you know, we, you know, so. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, he's not lying, y'all. He's not lying. But, sweetie, I truly want to thank you for doing this interview today. I know that it took a long time for me to get you on here because of whatever circumstances, situations, work schedules, whatever. But I, I'm so honored for it to be your first interview, and I'm glad that you um, that you took the time out today to do this interview with me because it's important for your voice to be heard. It's very important. Oh, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Oh, I'm glad I can. I'm glad I can do it. And you glad made me laugh, and that just you know, starting off my day with that is just. <laughs> you, oh, to start your day off with a laugh, you know, anything it's just to make awesome. Anybody laugh because I know you was having a rough morning, so I'm like, man, let me get over here. I gotta say. <laughs> Shit, man, because I know she having a rough morning. Let me get out here and say some shit real quick. You hear me? Oh, shit. <laughs> and I do. I truly appreciate you, sweetheart. So, are there are there any last words that you would like to say to the people before I let you get off of here? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to say pretty much. Um. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming with new music for everybody. You know, so y'all stay. Stay tuned, be on the lookout. I, I'm working on the tape. I don't have an official name on it just yet, but I'm trying to put it out like sometime this year, like either in the middle of the summer or the end of the summer. Uh, but I want to put it out before the summer, but you know, I gotta, you know, as far as management, don't have no management team, I manage myself. But yeah, um, you know, new music on the way, new videos, all kinds of shit. So, you know, one, one time, one time again, I'm going to say this too. I'm going to say this again too. Shout out to Promo God. 
Shout out every time I sent her always, she played it for me. You know, everybody gave their feedback. And for everybody that did get their feedback on the song, I appreciate y'all. If y'all was haters or whatever like that, I still appreciate the haters too. Or whatever, that still give me that drive to keep going with this music shit. But, but yeah, promo God, she that deal, man. So, Aww. you know, y'all out here... Y'all support Promo God the best way y'all can. If she, if she take a time out of her day to support our music, we gotta support her. You know, so, you know, we gotta, so we gotta, we gotta come together as people, y'all. We gotta stop doing all this hating and shit and just come together, man. Let's, let's say fuck everything and just come together, especially in the city of Detroit, man. The city of Detroit need to come together, stop all this hating and shit and just come together and let's all get money together, man. Everybody, Everybody out here want to see everybody doing bad. They don't want to see you doing good out here. So it's like, you know, we got to do what we got to do, man. So, of course, I want to say, I want to say this. I want to say shout out to everybody I shouted out to. Okay, of course, long live my nigga Meeks, for real, bro. I do this shit for you. I do this shit for everybody. I do this shit for my kids, my family, all of that. So we are on Cash Hard Rich Team shit. I do that for the team. So... Trust me, it's new music on the way. We get to it. Cash Our Rich Team gonna be a household name. Trust me. If y'all don't know who Cash Our Rich Team is, y'all gonna know. And if y'all don't know, y'all need to wake up, smell this Folgers coffee, <laughs> and get y'all motherfucking day started. Stop playing. Get your coffee Check and go home. look at Ace Cuddy's profile. That's all you need, ladies. That's Never all you need. Me. You need your coffee Never and his me, profile. Lady. That's it. That's it. Wait and smell that coffee and go hop on there. You don't know. Shit might start the day off right. You never know. <laughs> you never I love know. you. Oh, my God. I it love you. It start the day off right. It's you don't know. <laughs> Oh my God, you are so crazy. I just love it. All right, sweetie, again, I truly thank you for doing this interview today. And we are going to go ahead and let you go. And I'm, we're going to end this interview so you can get your day started. How about that? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Everybody out there, man, y'all have a nice day. Y'all have a blessed day. And I'm going to leave y'all with some words of encouragement, man. Don't let nobody knock y'all off your pivot today. Or wherever in life, if y'all trying to get anywhere in life, man, keep that good mindset. Keep that mindset. Keep grinding. Keep going. Whatever situations y'all are going through or whatever like that, pick your, you know, pick your, pick your pride up. And face them head on. Whatever you're going through, face them problems head on. God put problems in our life as pretty much wake up calls and shit. He trying to tell us like you know, you know, get up off your ass, do what you're doing. You know, you need something to do. Go grind. Go get you a job. If you out here broke, go get you a job. If you're doing this, you go get. You know, do whatever you gotta do to provide for your family and make sure you bring in that income in. Don't let nobody, don't let nobody take your shine away because these niggas can take your shine away and how you feeling like it ain't even worth it no more. So today's, today's quote of the day is grinding all day. Hey. Keep your mind tight, get that money, say fuck all these haters and still, still do what you gotta do, still be you. Cause I'm still gonna be me. So regardless, you gonna be you, I'm gonna be me, and we both gonna get this money together. If not, I'll see you at the top, period. Cash on rich team shit. Shout out to promo guy 2478 Long Live My Nigga Meach, man. We out here. Again, y'all, shout out to Ace Cuddy. That was such a fun interview. Shout out to Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, stand up. All right, y'all. Y'all, if you are a loyal listener and you were here with me all last year, you know exactly who this is and what this is. This was the 2018 theme song for Promo God Underground Sound Off. It played for 11 months straight on my show. This is the one and only Fire Nation, 144,000 chosen few GT management. Shout out to Massachusetts. The flames are hot, y'all. This is called What's Good. What's good with your bitch? What's good? Yo, hands up, 
live. What the fuck you talking about? We need to make it clear as I close. I'm gonna go back here and shout out to everybody that was in here during the interview. There was a lot of y'all. Hey. I told you I'm problematic and your mouth real good so I'm here to drag it. Now your mouth real big for a bitch that's irrelevant since you got class with your page so you selling it. Shout out to Mano, James West Jr., Molly Baby. Shout out to Tariq Ali, Joanne Patton, Boss Diva, Cantrell Lopez, Raheem Hill, Elizabeth Phillips, Crystal Torres, Ricky the producer, Tremaine Smith, Darian Jefferson, D. Wright, Lisa Jenkins, Troy Davis, Capital Cap, Sean Bowie Chandler, Panda Jenkins, shout out to my personal promotion roster, I see you, shout out to New Jersey, Philly and New York, BP Entertainment, LLC, Brenda Pageant, I see you, DJ Extra Nova in the building, hey, hey, what? What's good with you? What's good? What's good with you? What's good? Ryan, you don't drink coffee? Yeah, you don't need what's to go to Ace. You don't need to go to Ace Petty's profile. It's for females no, only. They don't really want these problems. <laughs> say my name three times, boom, I solve them. They don't really want these problems. They say my name three times, boom, I solve them. Hey. They don't really want these problems. They don't really want these problems. I know, Ryan. I put it in the playlist for a special reason today. If you notice, there is a theme to the show today. Hey. Come at me, I'll get you later. Come at me, I'll get you later. Come at me, I'll get you later. Hey. Again, y'all, shout out to Fire Nation, 144,000 chosen few GT management. Make sure you all go check her out. The flames are hot, y'all. Fire Nation. All right, y'all, this next song coming on is the last song in the playlist. Again, this was a special exclusive show today. This is one of my favorite songs, and because that's how we roll, this is Why So Lyrical. That's how we roll. Here we go, y'all. That's how we roll. I truly want to thank everybody that tuned in today. They got to hear the truth come to light in your own ears. You heard it for yourself, y'all. Special shout out to Damon Canterbury in Eugene, Oregon for calling in today. Truly appreciate you. Special shout out to Ace Cuddy for the fabulous interview. Support and salute to Why So Lyrical from Brenda Pageant. That's right. Hey. Shout out to Gibbs Delaney, Michigan. Breaking rules because I have to. So if you're looking for the cash, I can show you to the past too. So make way, there's a breakthrough. I'm from the Great Lakes State, you can tell I'm from my tattoo. too. I'm not a boy, but I'm bad too. So if you fuck with my cash, that's right, Lisa. Turn home. up. I'm gonna try to stay mad at you. And I'm a nigga with an attitude. And that's how we roll. If y'all ever get a chance to see why so lyrical no perform live, make sure you go check him out, y'all. He is fabulous. He be doing wardrobe changes and shit live on stage. Like, hey, okay. Right, you said in another song you haven't heard for a while? Yeah. Middle finger up, y'all. Zero fucks given. Hey. Oh, 
Uh-huh. If you put a platinum a go, we go. all be rocking desirable clothes. Uh-huh. It's all access wherever we go. I'm uh-huh. not super riding, can't be a slow. If y'all want to find this young gentleman, his name on Facebook is Jamar. The wise man is the nard. That's wise with a Y, not an I. Jamar, the wise man is nard on Facebook, y'all. He is wise, so lyrical. We win it. We don't give a damn if I ever suspend it. Me the bigger I get, zero fucks give it. Candy paint, that whip be sitting on chrome. Blow it loud, that cush be bumping like bones. Pulling up big big trucks, we win it. We don't give a damn if I ever suspend it. Me the bigger I get, zero fucks give it. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Promo oh guys. Promo oh guys. Underground sound off. Only on Kill Shot Radio. All right, y'all. If you are a loyal listener, you know exactly what that means. It is time for me to get up out of here. I have been in here way too long. But before I go, I just want to say a personal thank you to Damon Canterbury and also a personal thank you to Ace Cuddy for both of these gentlemen um, being on the show today. Special thank you to the six specific artists that I put in this playlist today to make this a themed um a themed show today because again this was not planned that you know i this was an incident that happened and i hope i truly hope that we have all learned a lesson from this show today i hope that we have learned that how easy it is to get sucked into somebody's luring scam to try to assassinate somebody's character and again i hope we can see that the truth does come to light sometimes it's a little quicker you know sometimes it takes a couple years for the truth to come out but it came out very very quickly we got this nipped in the bud we have apologized you know he he did a live apology so if you missed that make sure you tune in tonight at 10 p.m so you can hear that as well so again massive warrants of respect for anybody that gives a true genuine apology to a to um to me or to anybody else you feel what i'm saying so again Thank you. Thank you for clearing my name. Thank you for um, for clearing your name as well. So, again, Promo God truly appreciates you. All right, y'all, I need y'all to do three things for me today. I need you to inspire someone, smile for someone, and tell someone you love them because you may not have the opportunity to do tomorrow what you can do today, and wouldn't that be a shame? Again, you have been listening to Promo God Underground Sound Off, syndicated and powered by KSIR. That is Killshot Internet Radio, located in Detroit, Michigan. You have been on the Rush Hour Ride with Promo God, broadcasting live from Columbus, Ohio. Shout out to the 614. And you can hear this show in syndication at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on WBAP, Bluntsville Radio in New Jersey. Promo God is getting your music out there to the world the best way that I know how. Why? Because I love you. Good night. <laughs>